Okay, hey guys, so welcome back to our channel. Right now we're in the steer lot. So what exactly are we doing? These are steers that we're gonna be feeding out to, back to the butcher and we're selling them to other people for their freezers. Okay, and we have one. Well, there four in here? Well, there's three in here that are going to the locker and then that's a heifer. I have in here because I have her dad in this pasture over and I gotta keep her separated until I get the other bull in here. Okay, so behind the steer lot then we have the heifers? Yes, the heifers. These are Holstein Simmon or Holstein Simmon Paul Crop. And then there's one Angus Simmental heifer in here. This is normally packed full. We're in off season right now. We haven't weaned calves yet. So back here, how many acres do we have of just pasture ground? Pasture, we have about 60 acres of pasture right now. And how many heifers do we have back here right now? There's 17 heifers in this pasture right here. This pasture is 10 acres. We normally plant Sudan in here and keep the heifers back behind that tree line. You show that tree line over there. I put up an electric fence and keep them back there and then we grow Sudan grass in this five acres during the summertime. Here it comes. Yep, you ran out of memory. All right, guys, so now we're just headed into the heifer lot. And how many do we have in here right now? There's 17 heifers and a bull in here. These girls are having calves at the moment. I'm keeping the bull in with the heifers because I don't want him breeding the cows right now because I'm trying to just have calves in springtime and all these heifers are bred so he can hang out in here there's some Angus Piedmontese in here, Angus Simmental, Pure Angus. And I believe there's one Angus Hereford Cross in here. Sorry, this is rough terrain, so the camera's gonna be bouncing around a lot. Montes is right there next to the little red one laying down and her calf is actually right there. That calf walking away from us. We have our bull in here and he is, his dad was Steel Force. So I picked him up for having smaller calves. And he, I have not had any, I've only had one problem. I've only had Wrap every, we wrap everything. We wrap our dry hay, corn stock bales, wet hay. But these girls are munching on some dry hay. We have zero spoilage because of that. Oh, and we do have two uh, Angus Holstein crosses in here. That one right there and her sisters over there, they're both bred. I'm kind of curious to see what those two. 
they're starting to show signs of uh, impending calving. So. We'll see what they do. very first calf born on this farm with me. She was born in 2016. She's not a heifer, but I keep her in here because she keeps the girls calm. But she's very calm herself. Steer calf, I castrated them already. Okay, so normally in the evenings we come out here in the woods and we do a little bit of exploring with the kids and then we're looking for arrowheads and then we also collect river rocks. We do have a creek that runs through here, so we're always picking up rocks. I put them in my flower bed at the house, so it's just something the kids enjoy, so we come out here and do that. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of dead trees. This is in the back uh, wooded pasture, so we're going to be taking down a lot of these dead trees. The cedars have overtaken the pasture. That's what I bought the boulder for. Yeah, so we're going to take all this down and clear all the dead out so we can get and all the cedar. Get all the, get the cattle back to them. I'm leaving all the trees. We're taking cedar trees. Well, we're taking, yeah, there's a bunch of dead ones we want to get rid of. Then this is from, I believe last fall, we took some down some. Two, two falls, or two years ago. Okay, so two years ago, we took down some dead trees and we, we burned them up, but we still have a lot to go. I mean, this is. And how, how many acres of just wooded pasture do we have? Probably 30. Okay, so. 30 acres. So this isn't even, this is just a little, a little area here. That's what we do. That's what we do, guys. So. So we do all kinds of stuff. We just we're looking for heads, Mom. Yeah, we look for arrowheads, but we've only found since we've lived here. We've lived here for five years, and we've only found one arrowhead. 